The Rocker London Gallery is the space designed by Saha Hadid Architects where visitors can learn more about the, the world of Rocker and experience a number of cultural and social events and exhibitions and installations mainly about our, our values, design, innovation, sustainability and well-being. The purpose of the Rocker London Gallery is for interior designers, architects and consumers to get to know us, Rocker, um, and find out more about the brand. The purpose is also, of course, to be a state-of-the-art showroom, a, a space where people can come and see our products, uh, really a, a reference space. Uh, for anyone who is working on a bathroom project or who is interested in bathroom design. The concept for the galleries came from a, a wish to, to convey to a broad audience what we do and also who we are. And it was also conceived as a, an evolution of your traditional bathroom showroom um, to create a space which is for example, not just functional like a, a traditional bathroom showroom, but also em emotional space. And rather than a, a static showroom, it's a very dynamic space where a lot of things are happening all the time. The themes behind the design of the Rocker London Gallery are uh, water in its many different states and, and faces. You can look at it as water creating this space, eroding its way through rock to create the, these openings and these spaces that we see in the gallery, but also fluidity creating a space where a lot of, a lot of things are, are happening on a regular basis. We also have a, a foundation called the We Are Water Foundation that tries to, to raise awareness about water issues across the world. So the theme of water does closely tie in with who we are and what we do. Broca is a, a family-owned company. We're nearly a hundred years old and we're originally from Barcelona. We're the, the global leader within the sanitary wear sector and we are a company with a, a very long-term view, uh, which is obvious when, when you build a gallery like this, this is a long-term investment. And also, it's also obvious in our focus on sustainability, we, we care about future generations. The gallery is both a, a showroom, you can see products, it performs the function of a standard bathroom showroom, it's pushing the boundaries of what a showroom is. You can look at our, our product range and see that we, we do have the basic WC or whatever you want, but we also have a number of ranges that are pushing boundaries and are redefining what, what the bathroom is all about. The reaction we get from visitors is uh, wow. They're, they're all wowed by the space. I think Saha Hadid Architects have uh, managed to create uh, a space that is very accessible for, for everyone. You, As an architect you will see that this, this was a, a difficult space to create and there are lots of details for an architect to explore but also for a consumer or for someone who has no knowledge of architecture, it's still a space that, that will capture your, your interest and will be interesting to, to walk around and explore. With regards to the technologies used in, in constructing the space, I think the first thing one needs to say is that the, the, the Rocker London Gallery is a feat in working within 3D and turning a 3D design into reality. It's also worth mentioning the uh, glass-reinforced concrete and, and glass-reinforced gypsum panels that were used across the galleries. There are several hundred panels that have been installed. They were difficult to produce looking at the, the shapes and the, the curvatures of them, but also difficult to, to ship, install and to, to fix. All of these features had to be installed in an existing building, so that was not easy. And the most important area for us is sustainability. We are the biggest bathroom company in the world, so a lot of water runs through our products. We have a responsibility to, to think about water and energy usage. So, so we are using technology to improve our processes, to design, uh, to think about sustainability within design, to design pieces that will last and that people will enjoy for a long time.
and of course to uh, design bathroom products that use as little water as possible and as little energy as possible. Um, I think the architects have been very successful in creating a, a space that is accessible to everyone. If you are an architect or an interior designer you will see that this this space was not easy to achieve, but even if you come in here as a consumer and you don't know much about architecture, you, you still get a, a sense of the work that's gone into this space and, and you can still enjoy it without having any previous knowledge about architecture.